Let's review. Last time we looked at counting quarter notes and eighth notes using the standard system. Quarter notes get a number. So in 4-4 four, four, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. In 3-4 three, it's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. In 2-4 it's 1, 2, 1, 2. And the upbeats of eighth notes get the syllable and. In 4-4 four, four, it's 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. In 3-4, 1 and 2 and 3 and. In 2-4, 1 and 2 and. Now we're going to add 16th notes. Remember, 16th notes are a subdivision of 8th notes. Imagine a quarter note that we break in half to get 2 8th notes. Then we break each 8th note in half to get 4 16th notes. In the standard system, the second 16th gets the syllable E, written as the letter E. And the fourth 16th note gets the syllable A, uh, written as the letter A. Let's fill in what we know so far. We know that each downbeat gets a number, in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4. We also know the upbeat gets the syllable AND. Now let's fill in for the new sixteenths. The second sixteenth of each group gets E, and the fourth sixteenth of each group gets A, uh, giving us one EANDA. So this measure of sixteenths would be counted like this. One EANDA, two EANDA, three EANDA, four EANDA. Now let's look at counting different sixteenth rhythms. Take this figure for example, two sixteenths and an eighth. Let's put our template of sixteenth notes underneath so we can see how they line up. The first two notes are sixteenths, so we know they will be one E. The next note is an eighth note, and the next syllable is AND, so it will also be AND. Since we know eighth notes take up the space of two sixteenths, there will be no A uh in this case because it is being taken up by the eighth note. If we have a whole measure of this, it would look and sound like this. 1 e and, 2 e and, 3 e and, 4 e and. You can use the same method for counting any 16th note rhythm. Just take the rhythm you want to count, uh, for example, 16th, 8th, 16th, then the 16th note template beneath to see how it lines up. For this 16th, 8th, 16th rhythm, the first 16th notes line up. The second note is an 8th note, so it takes the space of two 16th notes, which leaves us with the last 16th note, a, uh, and this gives us 1 e, a. Uh. A measure of this rhythm would look and sound like this. 1e, a 2e, a 3e, a 4e, a. You can keep practicing with different 8th note, 16th note combinations, but if you can count these 5 most common 16th rhythms, you should be okay. Try mixing up these 5 rhythms to come up with your own counting exercises. Now let's look at counting triplets. Just like all the other counting we've just done, there are many ways to count triplets. Personally, I like to use lollies. So a 4-4 four -four measure of triplets would be counted like this. One lolly, two lolly, three lolly, four lolly. And since there are fewer notes in triplets, there are fewer combinations we can have. The most common are these three. The first one is counted like this. One la, two la, three la, four la. The second one is counted like this. One, li, two, li, three, li, four, li. And the third one is counted like this. Lolly, 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 lolly. Try mixing up these three to come up with your own counting exercises. Remember to try and practice with a metronome when you can. It doesn't help if you can count the rhythms, but not in tempo. The metronome will help you learn to count in tempo. If you have any questions about counting rhythms or want to share counting tips and tricks, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give a thumbs up. This video was made with support from our Patreon patrons, who get exclusive updates and rewards for supporting Odd Quartet. Click the Patreon logo to find out how you can support Odd Quartet.